the WBC World Heavyweight Championship fight. Kenny Norton defending for the first time against Larry Holmes. And a scheduled 10 rounder between heavyweight Jimmy Young and Ozzy Ocasio. This ABC Sports exclusive is brought to you by Anheuser-Busch Brewers of Budweiser, the king of beers. There's no better way to relax than with the easy taste of Budweiser. ABC Heavyweight Championship title at stake. Let me fill you in on how this fight really came about and how we have a divided jurisdiction in the heavyweight ranks. Let's go back to spring of last year. Place Madrid, Spain. Purpose, convention, World Boxing Council. They came out of that with an edict that the then champion, Muhammad Ali, would have to fight the winner of the Young Norton fight, which was held here last November 5th. Remember then, Ali was on camera with me. Ali told all of the press at ringside that yes, indeed, he would fight the winner of the Young Norton fight. Norton won that fight. But Ali later was not disposed to fight him. So Ali made a match with Spinks. For that fight to be legitimatized, both of those two fighters, Ali and Spinks, signed statements to the WBC that the winner would fight Kenny Norton within a prescribed period of time. Okay. Ali fought Spinks February 15th. Spinks won, and they wanted a rematch. There was more money in that. Robert Aram, the promoter, of the Ali Spinks fight also notified the WBC in writing that the winner would fight Kenny Norton within a prescribed period of time. And Robert, Robert Aram came on national television with me and said, yes, Norton would, if Norton would take the $200,000 that he offered, he would, he, Spinks, would fight Norton. But then later, no. And so the stage was set for an Ali Spinks rematch September 15th in New Orleans, which ABC will be carrying. But Jose Solomon, the president of the World Boxing Council, wouldn't stand for it. He said these men agreed in right, either one of them, to fight Norton. Having failed to do so, he proclaimed Norton the WBC champion. And in this jungle of boxing, in this garbled world of boxing, we have the WBC and the WBA, the World Boxing Association, constantly vying for preeminence. And which one of them, if either does, has it, God only knows. Anyway, that is the backdrop to this WBC title fight tonight. Now, quickly, let's get to the champion, Kenny Norton. He's familiar, I think, to most of you, but briefly, the highlights of his boxing history. This is Kenny Norton, the heavyweight Ali doesn't want to fight, the heavyweight Sphinx doesn't want to fight, but the WBC champion of the world. He weighed into 220 today, but forget that, not too heavy for him. Weighed 224 when he demolished Wayne Bobbitt in 58 seconds of the first round. Yes, he's 140, lost only four, an authentic knockout puncher with 32 KOs and a devastating overhand right. Let's look at Kenny Norton in past action. The day came into national prominence in San Diego. This was the 12th and final round, the day Ali suffered the broken jaw. Later, Ali said it was a message from God, but that overhand right, which you just saw earlier, was what killed off Ali. Norton won on a split decision. Second time around in Los Angeles, a different story. Ali's best fight of the three against Norton, as you just saw there, connecting convincingly with lefts and rights in combination of Norton's head. Norton dropped a decision unanimously to Muhammad Ali. After that, it was another setback. Down to Caracas, Venezuela against then heavyweight champion George Foreman. A disaster for Kenny Norton. This was the second round, and that was George Foreman putting Norton away. Norton never really knew what happened to him that night. Later said he was in no way ready for that fight. But he was certainly ready for September 28, 1976 at Yankee Stadium in New York. Going into this, the 15th and final round, Norton's corner had told him he already had the fight won. So Kenny, by his own admission, led up. Arthur McCanny, the third man in the ring. McCanny's vote decisive. McCanny said this was the decisive round. And Ali won a unanimous decision. Then against Jimmy Young. 
in Las Vegas last November. A great tactical fight for Norton, working to the Jimmy Young belly again and again and again. Norton won a close, hard-fought decision over Jimmy Young. Kenny Norton. And so the story of Kenny Norton. What about Larry Holmes? Not the best known story in the world. Let's quickly capsulize it for you with a quick look at Holmes. Based upon his victory over Ernie Shavers, Larry Holmes could be called the emerging heavyweight. Only 28. He's been around a long time nonetheless. Comes from Eastern Pennsylvania, thus the label, the Eastern Assassin. I said he's been around a long time. He's been boxing since 71. He's had 27 victories professionally, no defeats. The KO figure is misleading. He is not truly a knockout puncher. But let's look at him in past action. 26 of his pro opponents were undistinguished, but Dwayne Bobbick in the West Point Munich Olympic final trials was indeed distinguished at that time. And watch what he does to Larry Holmes. First round action, made short shrift him. It did not go a second round. Some then labeled Holmes a quitter. But after the 26 pro victories against an undistinguished opponent, the graphic you saw stated it all. Holmes against Shave is March 25, 1978, Las Vegas, Nevada. 12th and final round. And Shave is clearly weary. All day, Holmes had been moving like that. Steady, left and right. And steady with that stinging jab. Not flicking, but stinging. Against the very man who had caused so much damage to Muhammad Ali, who had given Ali a very close encounter indeed. But now, Shavers couldn't handle Larry Holmes. No matter what Shavers was against Holmes, maybe he was a finished fighter. Some have said and written that, but Holmes fought the perfect fight, and maybe Holmes made Shavers a finished fighter. Look at him now, cleaning up on Ernie Shavers. The fight about to end, and Shavers about to go. That was it, perhaps, for the whole Ernie Shavers career. Holmes, almost a shutout winner. Larry Holmes, the emerging heavyweight. So a look at Larry Holmes, along with the earlier look at Kenny Norton. Now, Muhammad Ali is in our New York studio with my colleague Frank Gifford. You'll be hearing from those two in just a moment. Right now, we break for a news brief from ABC News. Remember, Ali is in our studio in New York. He'll have something to say. We'll be back. Get out of here.